Gary, a late 2-1 defeat here today. So, your thoughts on the result? Yeah, really disappointing result. Disappointing performance overall. We just couldn't get going at any point in the match. Uh, and we got what we deserved really late in Orient, deserved to win the game. We could have been a few goals down in the first half. Uh, and it was a disappointing performance. But I just said to the players in there, I'm, you know, I'm not going to get overly cross with them. I think they've been fantastic. Uh, they've given so much. And this was a game where we dropped below the standards we've set. And we have to take that bump in the road and, and do something about it next week. It must be tough when you lose two starters to international duty, but then when you know, other regulars go down with injury in training, it must make it even harder for you. Yeah, it does, but people have to take that opportunity and that's where, you know, when we train and we, we try and set standards daily, that their players have to be ready for that moment. I don't know when that moment is going to come. They have to be ready every single week for, you know, to, to produce a performance. And we obviously lost the, the Finnish boys, but uh, we had an injury to ads on Wednesday. Vinny picked up a, a slight injury on Tuesday that meant he missed it. So, you know, those were obviously made, made it difficult in terms of the, the finishers that we could bring on and, and try and change the game. And I don't think we'll finish a game again this season with the team that we had on the park, but that can't be an excuse. We, we have to, as a squad, cope, cope with those situations a little bit better and, and overall our performance has to be better. It's probably safe to say that we were lucky to go in level at the break, and we, but we came out strongly and took the lead with a pretty outrageous goal from Demi. I mean, is it more frustrating that we didn't kind of capitalise on that and then it was level within the next sort of five minutes? Yeah, the whole game, I'm, I'm hoping something sparks us into life. We had the two water breaks, we had half time to try and change things and, and try and affect the players' mentality and, and the way they were in, in the game. But we didn't manage to do that. I thought the goal might have done that and sparked us into life and it didn't really. There wasn't a change in, in performance at any point. I think the goal was just a, you know, a special moment uh, but it was an individual moment within the game and that didn't even get us going and we still look second best in, in every area. So, like I said, it's, it's football. We have to dust ourselves down. We have to learn from it and we have to come back again next week stronger. And after only conceding two goals so far in the league, did the manner of how we conceded those two goals kind of hurt you the most? Yeah, every time you lose a goal, it's disappointing. Every time you lose a goal, you can pick you know holes in it and and uh, we will do that next week. We will analyse. When we win, we analyse and try and get better. And, and it's no different when we lose. It's you know, a little bit harder because nobody likes losing games. But I think we've been very consistent in how we've behaved with the players. You know, Since I've come into the club, win or lose, we, we look to try and improve and be better. So we'll do the same again next week. And Jake Richards seemed a bright spark in midfield. Sitting there you know, making your debut at 16 in League One is quite an achievement for him. Yeah, I felt for him a little bit up against Prattley, a seasoned campaigner and a very good footballer, uh, playing in a team that wasn't playing anywhere near what we've played this season. But he was a bright spark. He's a 16-year-old boy with a, a huge future. And I thought, you know, in a, in a difficult day, he coped really well. So so he can be proud of his day's work. And a word on the crowd as well. I mean, you've mentioned it before, but, you know, even when they equalised and we went behind, the crowd didn't turn on the players. They were really trying to get them back in the game as well. So I guess we thank them for that. Yeah, they're always with us, this stadium. I've said it before about the positivity. And even when we're playing poorly, they, they try and get the team going. They were singing second half, but, you know, it was a, a warm day for them as well, you know, to, to sit in the sun all day. And even their efforts and their energy to try and get the players going couldn't. So uh, it's one of the days we have to take it and, and move on. We're back here again next Saturday as well against Cheltenham. Will be another tough game. Do you anticipate you'll have any back, people back from injury for that one? We hope so. We'll work hard. The medical team will work hard this week and uh, we'll work with the players we've got to, to try and get a team that's, that's ready and, and can go and produce a better performance today and, and try and win a game. It's, it's part of football. You have to deal with, with setbacks and you have to uh, learn from them and improve. And I'm sure we'll do that next week. You brought in Jack Fitzwater last week and Sean McDonald today. Do you anticipate any more incoming sort of free agents over the next week? Potentially, yeah, we're, we're still looking at a, a few different options and, and hopefully we can either get injuries back or, or potentially bring other players in. But the challenge with the other players coming in, like has happened to ads, is they're not fully up to speed with, with pre-season and games and we have to manage those players very carefully or we run the risk of injuring them as well. So we'll keep looking and, and keep trying to improve the squad if we can. And I guess finally, just for you, is it a fact looking for a reaction from the players next week? And the ones who maybe wouldn't have started normally, you want to see them really show you why they should be starting games? Yeah, I, I think when we play a 16-year-old 
boy, then it, then it shows if, if you're training well and, and you, you show you can be in the team, then we're going to give people that opportunity. When you get that opportunity, you have to try and grab it. And, you know, some players today didn't manage to do that. They will, you know, hopefully recover and, and come back on Monday ready to train hard to, to show that they want another opportunity. And that's what will, will drive this club forward. If we keep creating that competition within the squad, then and that will drive this club forward. So uh, you have to deal with, with setbacks in football and you have to come back stronger and I'm sure we will. Thank you, Gary.